Immaculate Mary, your praise we sing. You reign now in heaven with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. So today we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima. Okay, so I'll be speaking more about that um, in, in my homily. And uh, also we, uh, uh, today we started to have uh, uh, other parishioners who was taking part in the, in the Mass. We have Frank and Sylvie Barrett uh, joining us and, uh, at, at this Mass. So, brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your Son to be our mother also, grant us that persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Certain individuals came down from Judea and were teaching the brothers. Unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. And after Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to discuss this question with the apostles and the elders. So they were sent on their way by the church. And as they passed through both Phoenicia and Samaria, they reported the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the believers. When they came to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and the elders, and they reported all that God had done with them. But some believers who belonged to the sect of the Pharisees stood up and said, It is necessary for them to be circumcised and ordered to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and the elders met together to consider this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response of the psalm. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city that is bound firmly together, to Jerusalem the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. 
as was decreed for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there the thrones for judgment were set up, the thrones of the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Live in me and let me live in you, says the Lord. My branches bear much fruit. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to, Glory you, to you, O Lord. When the hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, Jesus said to the disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just a branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Three years ago, I had an opportunity to uh, lead a pilgrimage to go to Fatima, Portugal. And three years ago, in 2017, we celebrated the 100th anniversary of Mary's apparition to these three uh, shepherds, okay, and uh, named um, uh, Lucia, Francisco, and uh, Jacinta. And their ages, uh, I think Jacinta was uh, six years old then, and uh, Francisco was like eight years old, and then Lucia was uh, nine years old. And they're shepherds, you know, um, uh, poor, uh, uneducated, uh, and, and Mary appeared to them uh, six times starting on May 13 uh, until October 13. So uh, from the month of May to October, on the, the, on the 13th day, Mary appeared to them and gave them messages uh, for, 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 for the world. And so it's just so good to go to the place where Mary appeared to these three shepherds, right? And also to, to see where they live. Um, also like the basilica that was built there as requested by, by Mary. And um, there, there's so much to talk about the, uh, the, what happened there in the messages. But I would just like to focus on, on three. The first one is the importance of prayer. Mary appeared to them and revealed to them, to them that she is Our Lady of Rosary. So the importance of praying the rosary every day, okay? And uh, uh, these three shepherds, uh, before the apparition, uh, they, they, they used to pray the, the rosary, but because they love playing, uh, they want to do the, the, the praying of the rosary so quickly. So what they would do is that they would just uh, do this prayer, Hail Mary, Holy Mary, Hail Mary, Holy Mary, Hail Mary, Holy Mary. <laughs> <laughs> so that they, they could do the, finish the, the praying of the rosary. After that, they could, they could start playing. And how, you know, uh, and I'm sure we could all relate with that, right? You know, sometimes we do the praying of the rosary out of routine. And sometimes we don't meditate well the, the, the praying of the rosary. So, and, and, but when, when Mary appeared to, 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 to them, 
they were taught how to pray the rosary from the heart. And, and the, the rosary is, is a very powerful weapon against the enemy. Okay? And uh, so they were encouraged to pray the rosary for peace. During the time when Mary appeared, it was 1917. Okay? It was uh, during World War I. So Mary was asking them to pray the rosary for peace. And uh, 1917, World War I um, uh, ended in 1918. The second one is um, to make sacrifices for sinners. Uh, Mary, what happened there is that Mary uh, brought them and showed them hell. Yes, there is hell. Okay, There's the, uh, uh, hell is a reality. And it was shown to them uh, the, the, the place where, where, where poor sinners would go uh, and, 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 and suffer a lot. So they got so terrified and uh, it was only by grace of God that they didn't die um, after uh, hell is being shown to them. And, and Mary, told, Mary told them this. She said, Many souls go to hell because there are none to sacrifice themselves and to pray for them. Our sacrifices makes a big difference for the conversion of sinners. So, because they were so terrified of what they saw, and there was a great desire for them to, uh, to bring conversion to sinners, what happened then, these little children, they started making sacrifices. You know what they did? Uh, they, they would offer their, their lunch to other poor children as a sacrifice. What they would do also is that um, they, they, they would, they would, uh, they would uh, um, deprive themselves of, of water uh, to, to, uh, as, a, as, a, as a sacrifice, you know, for, for the conversion of sinners. But, and also, um, they would put, like, uh, tie around their waist coarse rope, okay? And uh, so you see here how, how, how our sacrifices uh, could bring about the conversion of sinners, okay? So, so for, for, for those of you, uh, maybe you have a loved one um, who's, who's very far from the Lord, don't just pray. Also offer up sacrifices for them. And then there's a, a prayer that Mary taught them. It's about, uh, uh, it's, it's called the sacrifice prayer. And this prayer goes like this. O Jesus, it is for the love of thee, in reparation for the offenses committed against the immaculate heart of Mary and for the conversion of poor, poor sinners. Amen. Whenever you're making any sacrifices, say this prayer, okay? And the Lord will honor the sacrifices that, you're, that you are making. The, ter the, the third thing that we need to remember is um, a, a devotion to the Immaculate Heart, okay? So these three uh, shepherds, uh, they asked, you know, if they, if they would go to heaven and, uh, and when, they asked when. And Mary said, for Jacinta and, uh, and, and Francisco, uh, Mary will take them early. And they died, like maybe after a year or two from the, the date of the apparition, they were taken. But Lucia stayed behind to promote, so, because her, her role is to promote the devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Okay? And uh, Mary appeared to her um, I think it's in 1931, so this is many years after, asking for the five first Saturday devotion. Okay? The five first Saturday devotion, uh, when, when you do that, um, we come in communion uh, to do reparation for the five harms that has been done to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Uh, so I, I really encourage you uh, to do the five first Saturday devotion. Now, having a devotion to the Immaculate Heart isn't just uh, attending those first Saturday uh, Masses, okay? But it's also asking Mary to give us her heart. Whenever you're doing this devotion to the, 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 to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, uh, two things that we need to ask. First, asking, asking Mary, lend me your heart. Lend me your heart. Okay, and, and what's the heart of Mary? The heart of Mary, uh, we, 
it could be summarized with three virtues. The, the first virtue is humility. The second virtue is purity. And the third virtue is charity. Okay? Humility is the foundation of all virtues. Okay? If you're not humble, you will not be pure. And if you're not humble and if you're not pure, you will not be able to love others well. That's why these three virtues, when you're, when you're having a devotion to the Immaculate Heart, you're working on these three virtues in your life. So, lend me your heart. The, the second thing that you could pray as you, as you pray the, the, the devotion to the Immaculate Heart is saying, keep me in your heart. Keep me in your heart. And uh, for, for, for people, we know that when we love somebody, we have that person in our heart. And we trust that Mary, because she loves us so much, we are in her heart. And she prays for us, she intercedes for us, for whatever needs that, 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 that we have. Okay, praying for our protection, praying for our healing, and most especially, praying for our salvation. Okay, so lend me your heart, keep me in your heart. Those two prayers. Okay, so... Um, also, like, as I've said, there's so many things that we could talk about um, in today's Feast of Our Lady of Fatima. But for those who are interested, I'll recommend two books that you could read to learn more about the things that happen there. The first book is called A Pathway Under the Gaze of Mary. It's a biography by uh, Sister Lucia. Well, well, she's a... Uh, uh, yeah, Sister Lucia, okay? And then the other one is... Fatima in Lucia's own words. Those two books, if you read it, you'll, 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 you'll have a complete uh, picture of what happened there. And then just practice the three. Pray, pray the rosary. Second one is uh, make sacrifices, offer sacrifices for the conversion of sinners. And then the third one is have a, have a devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. By, by doing the, 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 the five first Saturday uh, Mass of the month uh, and also saying the prayer, uh, lend me your heart and keep me in your heart. Unite as one body of worshipers in the Lord, we bring our needs and confidence before God our Father. That the unity which comes from Christ, the true vine, may draw all Christians to this church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That priests, religious, and missionaries may be committed to their vocation in the church and remain united in Christ in their work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those tried by life's difficulties may be faithful to Christ and his gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may see Christ as a source of strength and healing, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may remain in Christ forever, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of this class, uh, for our lady, uh, offered by Catherine Cardia, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, help you can do nothing. Hear our prayers and keep us in your heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exalts in God my Savior, for he has looked with mercy on my lowliness, and my name will be forever exalted. For the mighty God has done great things for me, and his mercy 
will reach from age to age and holy, holy, holy is his name and holy. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always in every word to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise bless and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever virgin mary for the for by the overshadowing of the holy spirit she conceived your only begotten son and without losing the glory of virginity brought forth into the world the eternal light jesus christ our lord to him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim Worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Terence and Marcel, our bishops, 
and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, 
Satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, so saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in the commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, Michael, the Archangel, Archangel defend, defend us in battle. Be, be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares, and snares of the devil. devil. May, May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. pray. And, and do thou, Prince, Prince of the heavenly host, host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, Satan and all evil spirits who prowl through, through the world, seeking, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, and throned above, O Maria, hail, Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph all ye cherubim, Sing with us, he said of him. Heaven and earth resound the hymn. Salve, 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 salve.